Do essential oils work? This video is an unbiased, sales-free look at the most common uses and the science behind them. In the first video of this series, I looked at some common uses that don't have any good scientific evidence to back them. This time, I'm looking at three claims that do. Surprisingly, there's been only two human trials on acne treatment with essential oils, namely tea tree oil. The most recent study included 60 patients with mild to moderate acne over a 45 day period. Now half received a 5% tea tree oil gel, while the other half, the control group, received a placebo gel without any active ingredients. The 5% tea tree oil was effective in reducing both inflammatory and non-inflammatory acne lesions compared with the placebo gel. Researchers speculate this was due to the reported antibacterial and anti-inflammatory properties of tea tree oil. An older study found that both 5% tea tree oil and 5% benzoyl peroxide, which is conventional acne treatment, uh, significantly improved acne symptoms in 124 patients, though tea tree oil was slower to take effect. So while it's likely not a strong standalone acne treatment, tea tree oil might help in addition to regular acne medications. Something to think about. Alongside diet and exercise, quality sleep is essential for good health. Now the weight of evidence suggests that lavender oil may help with relaxation and sleep quality. Rodent studies have shown several essential oils, particularly lavender oil, has strong sedative effects. It reduced mobility in mice by up to 22% and the effects remained even if the mouse was over agitated with caffeine. Multiple human trials have also linked lavender oil to better sleep duration and quality, but it has to be inhaled rather than applied to the skin. Two human studies have shown that the application of peppermint oil to the skin may effectively reduce headache symptoms. The first study on 32 patients found that a 10% peppermint oil preparation provided significant pain relief when sponged on the forehead and temples. The second was more well designed and studied four headache attacks per person in a total of 41 patients. The 10% peppermint oil was shown to be just as effective as a 1000 milligram dose of Panadol and significantly reduced reported headache intensity after 15 minutes. Results are promising and it seems like a largely harmless alternative to aspirin or paracetamol. So there you have it. The strongest evidence available indicates that essential oils can help with headaches, sleep quality, and probably facial acne to a noticeable extent. Of course, this scientific perspective answers most questions, but it cannot account for every single oil nor every single use. There's, there's so much that has not yet been studied. But it's safe to say that health claims that venture past those that I've mentioned in this video, such as treating Alzheimer's disease or cancer or some sort of metabolic illness um, are extremely exaggerated and unproven and quite frankly dangerous. If you enjoyed this video please give it a like and leave a comment. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and check out all my other videos in this series.